So while the horse I've read here, Ringo Robinson's uh, name Monroe, while it may not look that good in the box because it takes me a little longer to get her situated and set correctly, uh, I feel like that it shows that she was the right choice to bring here because of how dynamic she is whenever she does leave clean. Mm -hmm. So tell me about her papers. She's a paint. I didn't find that out until about a week before <laughs> I came here. So I was sent a message by mm -hmm. an APHA marketing lady that mm -hmm. she wanted to do a story about. I was like, I, I don't have the papers, don't know about the papers. So um, anyhow, but she's the one I will write. Awesome. So people want to know at home, before you made it enough to where you had help from sponsors, how did you finance your rodeo dream? I feel like it was... The financing of my rodeo dream was more or less my wife working at home to be able to keep the lights on and that allowed me the freedom to go out here and to try to hunt and gather and it was still a struggle for a little bit i made the nfr in 2009 and then it was four more years before i felt like that i was ready to be here on a consistent basis and made the right changes with my horse and made the right decisions on traveling and the mental confidence and uh, fortitude that it took to to do a full season of rodeo because there's highs and lows and the one thing is you can't uh, just because you had a good year last year or last night you can't expect that to carry forward if you don't try to produce those same same results in the end. It sounds like you made the right decision for the most important reason your sure, wife. My wife. <laughs> Hey, Hunter, enjoy the win. Congratulations, and thanks for helping us out in Top 15 Challenge. There's more to come right here on Stall High.